Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope all of you are doing well and all of you are safe with your families at home. Well, this year is the Hyundai Creta 2020 and this car is proof that sometimes in life you can really have it all. Yes, uh, this is a car which looks desirable on the outside but it is also attainable. You can uh, buy this car from a starting price of around 10 lakh rupees and of course it goes all the way up to about 17-18 lakh rupees. So there's a Creta available for every budget and also you have engine options which are available right across the range. So as I just said, you can have a Creta according to your price, according to your budget. And it's really the perfect SUV, it's the ultimate SUV, not without reason. Uh, the reasons for being uh, the best SUV in the segment and my favorite SUV are simple. That this car looks really smashing on the outside, it looks like a miniature version of the Palisade. Now what is the Hyundai Palisade? Well, it's a large size, full size luxury SUV that Hyundai sells in the US market. So you can check it out on Google and I'm sure you'll agree that this car looks very similar. In fact, you can think of it as a miniature version of the Palisade, but that's not all. In terms of comfort, this car is a supreme in terms of the features list. It is supreme. It offers you the best in class features and just the way it drives will definitely put a smile on your face. Now let's jump inside the Hyundai Creta and tell you why it's my favorite SUV and why it should be on your buying list if you're in the market for an SUV as well. Let's get started. Planning to buy any spare part for your vehicle, you should check out Budmo.com. You can also download their app, it's available for both Android as well as iOS devices. And the best point about Budmo is the fact that they offer you the most extensive spare parts catalog across all segments of cars. And another good point is that they offer you the same spare part from a host of different manufacturers, different component makers, which means that uh, you get various pricings and price points, which means the flexibility in terms of pricing is greatly enhanced and you can choose the spare part according to your budget. Now, if you don't like the spare part, you can also send it back within 10 days. And of course, Budmo will return all your money to you if the part is returned within the 10 day limit. It's as soon as you step inside the cabin of the Hyundai Creta, you'll get a positive vibe about the cabin because this cabin really has a feel good factor, which is difficult to tell you how Hyundai is managed, but they have a certain positive vibe about themselves in all their cars and it's no different on the new Creta. Now, in terms of the features, this car really has it all. You, of course, get this huge panoramic sunroof, which is a big bonus for anyone who lives uh, in a town like Delhi or any metropolitan city for that matter. And of course, if you sit in the back with your family after a long day in the office and you open up the sunroof and see the skies, you'll just have a very good uh, positive feeling about yourself. Also, you get uh, cool front seats, which is my favorite feature on this car. And this is a big boon for anyone who lives in a hot uh, city, which gets really hot in the months of May, June and July. You also like wireless charging for your mobile phone. You also get cruise control, multiple airbags, automatic headlamps and a cool glove box. And the best feature for a lot of uh, people who consider themselves nerds, technological nerds that is, is of course the blue link cap because the blue link cap really does uh, separate this car from all other cars out there because it is a connected car. So you can do a lot of stuff on your mobile phone once you download the blue link cap. You can start the car from your home. You can check how much fuel is left. You can check uh, where the car is parked. If you get lost after a shopping spree at a mall, you can check by clicking a button and seeing where your car is and this uh, app will take you to your car and really you can do a host of other functions as well. And before I forget, special mention has to be made about the Bose sound system on this car. It's one of the best sounding stereos on any car up to around 15-20 lakh rupees and Hyundai has done a great job with the stereo as well. It offers you very good clarity, it offers you very deep notes and if you are someone who enjoys going on a long trip and enjoys music, then the Bose sound system is something that you'll truly appreciate. Now. If I'm sounding too much like a Hyundai salesman, let me just uh, cut this part of the video and get down to the driving bits and tell you what makes uh, this car so special. In terms of the interiors, I think it's a 7 star interior and definitely it deserves a double thumbs up from my side and it is one of the best interiors on any car at this price point and definitely if you're in the market for a SUV, any SUV, mid-size SUV, compact SUV, large-size SUV, you should simply go ahead and take a test drive of the Hyundai Greta at your nearest dealership. Now let's start with the driving bits. Well, so here I am driving the Hyundai Creta diesel. This car also comes with a 1.4 turbocharged uh, petrol version, which makes about 140 bhp. And you also get uh, a 1.5 petrol, which makes about 115 bhp. But today I'm driving the 1.5 diesel. And uh, this diesel also makes 115 bhp, just like the 1.5 petrol does. It's a 59cc diesel engine. And in terms of outright uh, 
power delivery it's less than the older version of the Creta but that's something that you will not uh, feel because it's only about uh, 7 or 8 bhp lower than the earlier car so it's not something that you'll feel the tuning of the engine is absolutely brilliant by Hyundai engineers and uh, this engine drives in a very nice and linear manner uh, there's a little bit of uh, turbo lag which is quite understandable uh, because it's a CRD engine and all these cars do come uh, with turbo lag but that said uh, if you are someone who drives uh, mostly in the city you will not notice it too much because the engine starts responding from about 1600-700 rpm which is quite respectable now Hyundai engineers have done a very good job with the overall tuning of uh, this new engine the older version of the car used to have a very prominent turbo lag and below 1800-1900 rpm the older version of the car really used to be a little lazy to respond this one is much better the engine now starts responding from about 1500-1600 rpm which makes it a better car to drive in the city and what you'll also appreciate is the fact that refinement levels have gone up another notch and the older CRDI version was already very good in terms of overall refinement but this one is even better now and uh, if you take it out on the highway then you will truly appreciate uh, this car's overall refinement because when you're driving at speeds of about 90-100 kph which are legal speeds on most highways the engine is spinning at a relatively low 1600-1700 rpm and the cabin feels very nice and very quiet so that's something that buyers will appreciate to drive a lot on the highway what also helps the refinement of this car is the fact that you get a six-speed manual gearbox and the sixth gear means that the flexibility is greatly enhanced of this uh, motor so uh, as i just said if it reach speeds of about 90-100 kph the engine is spinning at about 1600-1700 uh, rpm which makes the cabin a nice and isolated place to be in now most buyers will also appreciate the fact that the suspension tuning has been done uh, to keep comfort in mind yes the comfort on this car is very good the credo offers you a very supple and a very uh, soft suspension setup and that's very good for people who drive a lot in the city if you're driving this car uh, on broken patches of road on rumble strips on uh, those expansion joints on flyovers then none of them will uh, filter into the cabin and uh, you'll be very comfortable and uh, being on the side of comfort doesn't mean that this car doesn't feel stable on the highway this car offers you rock solid stability on the highway as well and if you're doing speeds in excess of 100 kph you'll never feel nervous at all doing those speeds because the stability that this car offers is very good and a large part of that confidence that you get on the highway also comes from the fact that the steering wheel is very accurate and it's very well weighed it's not a steering wheel which is overtly light that you start feeling nervous doing triple eight speeds and it's not a steering wheel which feels overtly heavy also that you start feeling tired at the end of a long day so it's a nicely weighed steering wheel it's a nicely weighed uh, chassis and uh, the suspension setup is also absolutely spot on because SUV buyers don't buy their cars to take them out on the racetrack and you know push them into corners and uh, things like that so that is something where this car will truly do well now, a lot of you have been asking me and telling me in fact that uh, this car doesn't come with a 4x4 system and to be honest 99% buyers who buy these cars never take them off-roading never take them even on broken patches of road or even on the smallest of small trails so that is something that uh, is only meant for people who take their cars out there on those uh, badly patched up roads as well as those uh, off-road trails and uh, Hyundai has done a good job by not offering it because the ground clearance is good enough for day-to-day -day bad patches of roads so in case it's raining you can uh, take this car with confidence on uh, those badly worked out roads and you can also take it out on a nice piece of tarmac so overall what is my rating of the all-new car in terms of driving it's a very impressive car to drive and I reckon that it deserves to get a full uh, 90 out of 100 in the driving department it's accurate to drive the steering wheel is very good feel some chassis balance is good ride comfort is excellent the gearbox also slot properly there are no hassles at all the clutch is also light enough and as I just said it deserves a double thumbs up from my side in the driving department and I think that this is one of the nicer cars to drive not only in the mid-size SUV space but from this price range of about uh, 10 to 20 lakh rupees if you are in the market for an SUV which is a diesel SUV then definitely you should take a look at the Hyundai Greta.